Hi everyone, I'm Grigory Yaroslavtsev from Indiana University Bloomington, and today I want to share some of my experience setting up hardware and software for video recording of my lectures. I'm going to be teaching a class this fall, and I was playing with all kinds of different setups, and here's what I came up with. I hope this can be useful for some other academics around the world for recording their own lectures and possibly also for recording presentations you give at conferences or some other public speaking events so that you can easily post a video of your presentation online later on. Let's get started with the hardware and software setup. Here's the hardware that I'm using. I have this dual setup where I'm using both my laptop and a tablet. And I'm gonna explain later why that is. Uh, my laptop is a MacBook Pro, but you can also use any other laptop you like. For tablet, I'm using an iPad, just a basic iPad for now. I'm waiting for my iPad Pro to arrive and that's gonna give me higher quality writing on my tablet. You're also gonna need a very high quality mic. Here I'm using Sennheiser ME3EW, which is a pretty affordable, high quality mic. Uh, I'm not sure if I wanna stick with that. Uh, it's quite affordable because um, it's not a Bluetooth mic, so it's just a wired mic, as you can see here. Um, but I'm not sure if I'm satisfied enough with the quality of this microphone. And everyone I talk to about video recording lectures suggested that you really have to invest in a high quality microphone. So maybe I'll have to get a more expensive one. And finally, I plan to be using this setup when talking to a live audience. So I'm gonna be connecting a projector to the laptop. For software, I'm using OBS, open broadcasting software that I'm running on my laptop. And OBS is a really nice piece of software and the primary reason for using this dual setup because I could not run OBS on a tablet. I prepare my slides using Microsoft PowerPoint on the laptop and then present them on a tablet using Microsoft PowerPoint with Office 365. I get it for free from my university, which is probably the case for many of you academics. And finally, I need another piece of software to mirror the monitor of my tablet and put it on my laptop. For that, I'm using Air Server. The server side of it is called just Air Server and it runs on the laptop. And the client side is called Air Server Connect and it runs on a tablet. Here I'm using a free trial, and then later I plan to switch to a paid version that for academics costs around $10. Here are some collection of features that this setup has and some tips and tricks that I learned along the way. First of all, the reason why I'm using OBS and have this dual setup is because OBS lets me position everything where I want it to be. So in this case, I have my slides on the right, my video on the left, and my video is cropped uh, to the size I want it. And I also have some extra graphics such as text and an image uh, positioned below the video on the left. One little tip that I wanna share with you in this video is how to crop the video output from your camera. Because by default, when you set up a camera output, a typical camera like the one on my laptop has a really, really wide range. And so it's very inconvenient to place it anywhere on the screen. OBS is a free software and it's still under development. So it's not that easy to find the crop option in there because it's not present in any of their menus. What you have to do is you have to find a transfer menu and then create a new transform. And in this transform, you can specify the cropping options on the left and on the right, uh, top and bottom, and that creates you the crop you want. 
One feature that I haven't quite tried yet, but I believe can be very useful for some people, is that OBS was actually originally created as a streaming software. So it lets you stream online um, your talk as you go along. And if you have live audience tuning in, that can be very convenient. Another nice feature that the setup lets you do is it lets you use a virtual laser pointer on a tablet. If you just tap on your presentation, then it creates this little red dot that you can use to point at things. The reason why I really like this power pointer setup is because I can create my slides half empty and fill them up as I go along by drawing things on the screen of my tablet. For example, here I'm gonna draw a squiggly line on the right side of the screen. Because of this dual setup, it's convenient to use some cloud service to be syncing files back and forth. Um, I'm using Dropbox, but any cloud service would do easily. One thing that I learned that I did not expect is that the newest version of PowerPoint 2016 on Mac finally supports LaTeX in formulas. I've been waiting for this for a very long time and have been using a virtual machine on Windows to type in LaTeX in my PowerPoint slides. But finally, LaTeX support for PowerPoint on Mac has arrived. And finally, I want to look at some other options that some of my friends have recommended to me. Here I'm using this dual setup, but another option is to just be going with one device only. And probably the simplest option has been suggested by Sam Watson, uh, my friend from Brown University. You just use an iPad with quick time to record the screencast. Uh, this is probably the simplest setup you can imagine, but unfortunately, it has some drawbacks. Sam reports that one drawback of this approach is that you can only record one hour long videos, and then you have to restart quick time if you want to record another hour. I didn't have much luck with this approach myself, because it seemed to me as if you can only record the slides, but you cannot create this video box with your own video on the side of it. And I couldn't figure out how to make this work. Uh, and you definitely cannot easily position some graphics um, on your screen as well with this approach. Another solution for people who like Microsoft products and Windows uh, has been suggested by my colleagues Funda Ergun and Steve Myers from Indiana University. On Windows, you can use Microsoft Office Mix, which is a free add-on to PowerPoint. Again, you have this advantage of a simple setup because you're running on just one Windows tablet. I tried this setup on a Windows Surface. I have a Windows Surface Pro. Uh, there is a wide variety of all kinds of Windows Surface tablets available these days. Uh, so you can use any one of them with this setup. I ran into some issues with the Microsoft Surface Pro setup that I couldn't quite find a way around. Uh, I think the main issue was that uh, I couldn't control positioning of the video and it was overlapping with my slides. So I think what Microsoft Mix does is it just positions this video by default and I couldn't find any settings that would um, allow me to, to move this video to, to a different place. Also, I couldn't find a way to make Windows uh, Office Max go back one slide. So it seemed to me as if you can only go forward. And there was a number uh, of other small glitches with Office Mix that I ran into 
Uh, so I decided that this is not a solution for me. And finally, I want to talk briefly about um, an entirely different approach to this problem, uh, where you're not using a screencast, but you rather video record the entire room at once using uh, a professional camera set up on a tripod, and possibly even uh, you have someone filming you uh, with this camera. Or maybe you have it stationary. So this setup is described in detail uh, by Eric and Martin Demain, uh, who use it at MIT. Uh, you can use this link to read about the details of their setup. Uh, the main advantage of this setup, in my opinion, is that um, you can move around the room and uh, use a board. You don't have to prepare the slides. You can point to things on the board. Um, the downside of this approach is that it requires a more sophisticated setup, more hardware, and uh, possibly even professionals to come over and video record you. Uh, so it's not that easy to pull off while you're traveling somewhere. Um, and uh, in my experience, it can be a little challenging to get high quality video of the board. That's it. Thanks so much for watching.